guys, welcome to your August reading. I am Charlene Lizette. If you are new here, hello, hi, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you're returning, a massive thank you to you. We are in the new space. I hope you click subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I do need to give gratitude and adoration to my great queen, the Morgan, to whom all my work is devoted to. She's no longer in the frame. She's over there at her altar looking all amazing and powerful and stuff. Um, so yeah, let's get into your reading, Taurus. If you're new here and you've never watched a general monthly reading, I pull out three cards for career and finances, three cards for general overall energy, and three cards for love and romance. Okay, um, let's dive in and see for career and finances for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, the King of Wands, the Five of Pentacles. I just heard don't give up. Persistence is key. Yeah, this is, some of you may have just started a new business venture or maybe you're feeling like your business has taken a bit of a lull or it's been very difficult with that nine of wands. Do not worry, my love. While it may feel like the wheel is stagnant or stuck or the energy is moving very slow or slower than you wanted it to, um, the truth of the matter is the universe is working on stuff behind your back. Um, and all these, I want to call them like, I don't want to call them obstacles, but like learning curves or like, you know, detours, um, they're all happening for you um, so that you can learn about yourself, about your abilities, about how capable you are when it comes to your career and your finances. You got the Eight of Cups followed by the Nine of Pentacles, followed by the Three of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune and the Queen of Wands is down here, yeah. Um, so when I'm seeing this Taurus, I really feel like you're going through some major transition here, okay, with that Wheel of Fortune, that Queen of Wands, the Three of Swords. There's stuff that you've got to walk away from. Okay, it could be for some of you like instant gratification, right? That uh, that Venus energy coming through of like want, 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 right? The material energy of the of the Venetian Aphrodite energy, like of always wanting things, wanting it now, wanting everything to come to you, um, and you may be realizing Jupiter at the bottom, love that, and you may be realizing that it's not manifesting as fast as you wanted it to. So then you're like getting disappointed in it or being upset about it, but like you can't be upset about it. You really can't because this is all part of you learning. This is all part of you transitioning. This is all part of you growing, okay? This is all part of you understanding like who you are, how far you can go, how powerful you are, okay? In the career and finances, the king of wands is like a really dope energy to be in. This person is an entrepreneur, okay? This person is very business savvy. This person is a leader in their in their field. Um, this person is also very charismatic and this person knows how to run like like some type of business, okay, um, from like a very leadership role. This isn't like somebody down the hierarchy, like this is the top. But it follows the five of pentacles, which makes me feel like you might be feeling like you're running the ship or you're running this business, but it's not generating you the revenue that you desire or you're not seeing as much abundance as you thought you were going to see in the beginning. And so your fears and your illusions and all these stories start kicking through this month that make you potentially feel like you're a failure or you're never going to be able to get the goals that you have or, you know, you thought you were going to, you know, hit this, um, you know, this, uh, what's it called in Spanish is called meta, this goal that you have and you don't hit it, right? I really feel like this is about you coming out of a mindset of lack, Taurus. I feel like this is you coming out of a mindset of like, I'm not good enough, I'm not gonna do it. Um, I also see this being about you really understanding the importance of like financial responsibility, okay? And being smart with your money um, and not allowing like the lusty desire of like going and having everything um, to impact you in a negative way. You got freedom for your mantra card. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Okay, and I see that here with the star, okay? I feel like there might be moments in the month of August, Taurus, where you're like, oh my God, I'm screwing everything up. Nothing is working out how I wanted it to be, like for your business, for example, or for your career and your finances or for your investments, whatever it is. Um, but you gotta acknowledge that you have the power to change that around, okay? The decisions that you make, you can really shift that stuff around, okay? For the astrology card, you got Vertex, which is karmic points, sinistry, um, faded connections and it says turning point on here. I didn't even realize that. 
Um, so yeah, I feel like I feel like you're gonna go through this like I want to call it a roller coaster. I don't know if you saw in the community I posted that like you know spirit guide saying get on the ride and the ride is a roller coaster on fire, right? Um, and that's, that's that's kind of what I'm seeing here. I don't think that you're gonna be on fire. I don't think that it's gonna be like that dramatic. But I do feel here that you're really learning how to face your demons when it comes to your business um, and your career and your finances. Because we got the star, which is all about healing. It's all about hopes and dreams coming true. Okay? It's all about you being able to look upon a star and make a wish and manifest. It's also about um, the energy of healing and aligning your chakras because of the stars at the top, right? So it's very beautiful energy indeed. It's just really about you now embodying it and embracing it, watering the sections of your life, feeding the sections of your life that maybe are lacking right now because that's how you create abundance everywhere, okay? For example, if you have a garden and you're only watering your tomatoes and not your cucumbers, while well, your tomatoes are gonna thrive, but your cucumbers aren't, okay? The Nine of Wands, yeah, this is going to be a month of work. You're going to be grinding, you're going to be hustling, you're going to be working, you're going to be very determined, okay? You might also feel a bit like a wounded warrior, like, oh my god, I'm doing all this work, but it's not like transpiring into anything, it's not manifesting into anything, why, why, why? And I think I said that in the beginning, and I think that this is all for you to understand that like, just because you're not seeing these like crazy leaps and changes and, and, and movement and, um, and change, um, in your career and your finances like immediately right like that instant gratification doesn't mean that it's not here for you because we have the judgment card okay and when we get the judgment card well we all know what that means that means that the universe is going to set you free that also means that the universe is asking you to answer the call this also talks about a spiritual awakening this also talks about like the universe having a divine plan and us having to follow that divine plan and surrendering to it without not necessarily knowing all the answers to everything which like is really really hard okay all right so um that's the general and the career and finances portion of this reading we're gonna move into your love reading now taurus okay um love and romance for the month of August. This is where I say if you want to book a live one hour with me, take a look at the description box below. If you want to shop over at Starseed Jewels and pick up your modern day amulets, I'm wearing a few different pieces here. I'm wearing Nichelle and two new pieces that are launching on the site soon. Make sure you sign up to the mailing list. And I'm wearing this 14 karat gold chain with uh, amethyst on it. Um, there's the different necklaces, different bracelets, uh, and different anklets uh, regardless of your gender, okay? So we got honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. We got engagement. Can I get one more? And we got healing family issues. Excuse me, I'm gonna take a sip of my water. With death, the king of pentacles and the four of wands, I actually see some of you healing some serious daddy issues that you may have had that may have not necessarily been like the best for you or supported you or helped you along the way. I'm also seeing massive transition and changes in your home life this month, okay? I'm also seeing the opportunity for celebration here, maybe even moving in with somebody, okay? But with this death here, this is major transformation in your love life. So you're either recognizing why you're still single, like a aha moment that makes you go, whoa, okay, this is why things haven't worked out in the past. Um, or you're single going into a relationship or you're in a relationship and you're going to be single now, okay? With that king of pentacles, it's you. It's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's you. So I really feel like you're in your power and your love life. Like if you're single, it's because you want to be. If you're in a relationship, it's because your partner is good for you. This feels like if you're breaking up, it's because you know you need to break up with them. This feels like you're very much in your power and only celebrating, rejoicing, and bringing in positive moments um, around your love life, okay? Like if it's not good for you, you're walking away from it. You're being very stable, very grounded, very balanced when it comes to your love life um this month okay all right taurus that's your reading for this month thank you so much for your likes your comments your shares your subscribes thank you for booking live one hours with me thank you for shopping at starcy jewels i'm so immensely grateful for every single one of you we'll see you in the next reading see you later alligator peace out bye